Hi, welcome back to the Base Movement School video series. We're in week four, going through the Junior Strength Program. My name is John. And I'm Jazz. Today I'm going to be taking Jazz through today's program. Some of the equipment we're going to need, we're going to be doing skipping. So if you've got a skipping rope, that would be great to bring along. We're going to be doing some sit-to-stand movements. So if you have a sofa or a coffee table that you could, uh, or a dining chair, something of that height to sit yourself down onto, that's going to be great as well. And we're also going to be doing some sliding exercises. So we're going to need a towel or maybe you can do it on socks on a tile. That would work great. So if you're ready, you're ready. Let's get into today's warm-up. So for today's warm-up, we're going to be starting off with bear crawls. And we're going to be paired up with inchworms. So we're going to pop down on the floor on our knees and toes on our hands. Everything's at 90 degrees here. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be lifting our knees up by pushing our toes on the floor and then slowly crawling ourselves forwards. As we're crawling, we're going opposite arm to leg. Once we've done a few forwards, we're going to work our way backwards. We're doing this for 20 seconds, so we're about halfway through. And imagine you've got something on your back. We don't want to be swaying our hips from side to side and letting that spill off. And finishing there. Now we're going to go into our inchworm. So again, we're going to be on our hands and feet for this exercise. We're going to be performing five inchworms. So reaching down, little steps out with your hands, little steps back in as far as you can, standing up tall. With this one, try walking your way out a little bit further each one and across the five. As you reach down, feel a bit of a stretch in your hamstring. We're going to engage our core and shoulders as we walk out. Fantastic. Once you're down your five, you're going to go back into the bear crawls. So set yourself up, everything at 90 degree angles, pushing through your toes and hands, knees just slightly off the floor. Small steps, working your way forwards and back. Again, going for 20 seconds here. So this one requires a lot of control. We don't want to be swaying from side to side. We don't want to be going too far reaching forwards with our legs or our legs either, arms or legs either. So the small movements, nearly there. Working your way backwards to round it out. Excellent. We're going to come up for our next set of inchworms. So again, another five here. Reaching down, little steps out with your hands. Coming back in. Nice and controlled. Not racing through the movement. The next warm-up activity we're going to be doing is a double leg skip for 15 seconds. So we've got a skipping rope today, so we're going to be using that. If you don't, just mimic the, the same movement, imagine you have one. And we're going for 15 seconds here, so nice and bouncy on our feet. Fantastic. Keep going. Three, two. One, have a rest there. So skipping ropes are a great way to get the heart rate going as part of your warm-up. Also working up plyometric uh, ankle movement as well. So take a couple seconds, catch your breath, then we're going to go through another set of 15 seconds here. Nice and light on your feet. Go at a slower pace if you're uh, struggling with the timing. And having a relax there. The next two exercises we're going to be doing as part of our warm up is a double leg depth drop and a single leg depth drop. So we're going to be doing four double legs. So stepping off, 
uh, a chair or a coffee table, something that's nice and solid, even a step. Making that landing nice and quiet, absorbing the landing, and sticking in athletic position. So we're going to be doing four double leg. Next up, we're going to be doing a single leg. We're going to do two on each side. So now that we're landing on one leg, we've got to really control that landing force. So we want to absorb it, drop our hips, balls of our feet first, bending your knee, dropping your hips low. Two on each side with this one. Something to be really mindful of, it's not letting your knee collapse inwards. You want to be putting a bit of pressure outwards so everything's nice and stacked, but not getting that inward force. Fantastic. So once you're done there, we're done with our warm-up and we're going to move on. Alright, so we're up to superset number one. We are going to be doing a double leg to single leg sit to stand, and that is going to be paired with knee push-ups. So with the double to the single leg, we're going to be doing a single leg sit down. And then we're going to be using two feet to stand ourselves back up. We're going to be doing 10 on each leg with this one. So what we're really trying to work on here is that control in the lowering phase. We're going to take about two to three seconds down. Then using the other foot as a bit of balance and to help you stand back up. So we're not just slumping down onto a chair or a step. We're controlling the movement, keeping our chest up high, keeping the movement slow. Again, just like what we're doing with the single leg depth drops, we didn't want our knee to collapse. Same idea here. We want to push our knee out just a little bit so we're keeping everything nice and stacked. So 10 on each leg with this one. Slow and controlled. Excellent. So once we've done our 10 on each leg, we're going to pop down on the floor and we're going to do 10 knee push-ups. So squeezing your glutes, bracing through your core. Got a nice straight line through our torso. Slow on the way down with the push-up, pushing the floor away. So our hands underneath our shoulders, we're not up high, we're not down too low, probably just outside shoulder width. Have a rest if you need to for a couple seconds, and then we're going to move on to our single leg sit to stance with two legs up. Slowly sitting down. If you're struggling with your balance here, you can sit up next to a wall. You just have a little bit of balance if you need it. And as you're getting the hang for it, start to use your other foot a little bit less on the way up. But if you feel like you need a bit more assistance, just keep going at it. Ten on each side, then swapping over. Very nice. Now we're back to our knee push-ups. Pushing the floor away from yourself, making sure that we're engaging our core and our glutes to lock in our posture. Very well done there. Alright, now we're up to our third and final go at doing the single leg sit to stance with two feet up. Keeping it slow and controlled, we want to be in complete control over our movement. We're not falling into the chair, we're taking our time. 
And again, if you feel that you're getting pretty comfortable with it, start relying a little bit less on the other foot to help you up. And then changing feet once you've done your 10. So you might feel that one leg is a little bit more of a challenge to do this exercise. That's perfectly fine. That's a big reason why we want to improve it. We want to make sure that we're strong on both of our limbs. We want to reduce any of those imbalances that we may have. Coming up nice and tall, a prep. Fantastic. And then our last go of the knee push-ups. Again, glutes are engaged, brace into our core, pushing the floor away from yourself each rep. Fantastic. So that's superset number one complete. Have a short breather, a little bit of rest, have a sip of water. And we're going to move on to superset number two. So for superset number two, we are going to be doing a reaching two-leg RDL paired with an ISO lunge for 10 seconds. So we're going to start off with the reaching RDL. We're going to do 10 reps here. So it's like the movement we're doing with the dowel behind our back. But instead of that, we're going to be reaching forwards with our hands, pushing our hips back. So what's really going to help with this movement, having a soft knee bend. So we want to get that soft knee bend first, that's going to give us a bit of mobility through our hip. So doing 10 reps here, try pushing hips back a little bit further each one, coming up nice and tall, squares and equals. Once you're done, we're going to do an isometric lunge, an iso lunge. So what that's going to look like, we're going to set up for our regular split squat sort of shape. So we've got 90 degrees at both of our knees, up nice and tall. Then we're going to push through our front foot. And we're only going to come up a little bit and we're going to hold there for 10 seconds. So having that pause movement is really going to tax those muscles there. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Come back down. We're going to change sides. When you're ready, pushing through the front foot, just only a few centimetres off the floor. I want you to imagine pushing down on the floor with this movement, but not raising our hips up any higher. Nearly there. Four, three, two, one. Come back down. Alright, now we're going to go back to our reaching ideal. So soft knee bends, pushing hips back, and your chest over your feet. So you can see that Jazz isn't around her back at all. She's got a really strong posture there. Imagine you're out on the sporting field or court. If you're in that position, ready for a jump or you're landing, you're not going to get knocked over easily. That's what we're looking for here. Back to the ISO lunge for 10 seconds. So set yourself up. Really important to get a strong posture first. Push your foot into the floor, pausing there. So again, we want to be balanced and controlled in this position. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Change legs. When you're ready, and we're up, bracing. So this one, if you're struggling with your balance a little bit, can you have your arms out to the side or move them around if you need to? Three, two, one. All right, third time around, reaching RDLs first up. Reach forwards. Very good. And the last one of the 
ISO RDLs. ISO launches. <laughs> 10 seconds here again. Nearly there. Three, two, one. And last changeover. And we're up. Stay nice and braced. Three, two, one. Very well done there. That is superset number two complete. We're going to go into superset number three, where we're going to be doing some slightly varied, slightly varied exercises for your core. So we're going to start off with a double leg hammy slider, and we're also going to be doing that with an adductor side plank. So this is the one that we're going to be using a towel for, a uh, double leg hammy slider. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up on the floor for like a glute bridge sort of position with our feet on that uh, towel, if you're going to be performing on tiles or floorboards. Um, and then we're going to be slowly letting our heels out. Come back down, drop your hips, bring your heels back in. So we're only doing the lowering phase here. So another way you could perform this exercise on carpet, you could put some sort of slippery plastic on the floor with your heels on that. You can Go out like that, and we're doing, we're doing 10 reps of these. So that one you're really going to feel in your hamstrings. Alright, so we're going to pair the double leg hammy slider with an adductor side plank. So this one's a bit of a different setup to a regular side plank. So you're going to set up on your side like a normal one, pushing your elbow into the floor. But your top leg is going to be supporting your weight only. The bottom leg, the knees off the floor, and your heels behind your body as well. You're holding this one for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. This one's quite a challenge for the adductor muscles, the inner thigh muscles, your groin muscles. So again, we're going to set ourselves up for like a regular plank, but only our top leg is on the floor. Bottom leg's bent, knees off the floor. 10 seconds again. Halfway there. 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're back to the hammy sliders. So this exercise, if you're going nice and slow, you might feel like you're on the verge of getting a cramp potentially. So, just go as far as you feel comfortable, comfortable and strong, and then you can put your hips back on the floor. So, 10 reps here again. Going slow as you can when you're reaching out with your heels. And as you bring your heels back in, all your weight should be on your hips, so you're just, just pulling the towel forwards. Have a breather for a sec if you need, and then we're up to our last exercise for the day. We've got another go at our adductor side planks. Again, pushing the elbow to the floor, top legs on the floor, back legs bent. When you're ready, we're up for 10 seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, one. And uh, last change over for the day. So set yourself up. 10 seconds. Making sure the hips are forwards as well. Four, three, two, one. So that is your strength session complete for today. Well done if you're following along at home. So we have some new exercise progressions there. Make sure to comment on the video if you've got any questions. I'm more than happy to answer anything that you may ask. Some of those exercises you might uh, not be able to perform as easily at home. So we're more than happy to 
give you some individual responses to how you can do that. Uh, make sure you're liking the video, sharing it with a friend so they can continue on the exercise journey along with you. And make sure that it's subscribed to our social media channels. We're active on Facebook and Instagram. That's where we're going to be posting updates for any of the exercise videos that we're doing for this series. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video.